supposed to be built directly over a gateway to hell. Hey guys, thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt. I'm currently in the Czech Republic and since it's such a beautifully dreary, eerie day, I thought I would take you to one of the most haunted places in the country, Husko Castle. This place is said to contain a portal to hell. I'm gonna explore the exterior where it's quite uh, creepy before we go into the castle, but I'm also gonna take you inside and tell you all of its ghost stories and why this place is so well known as being a haunted location. So it's freezing and foggy and the castle uh, looks magnificent back here. Uh, it's made so much more creepy by all of the creepy stories uh, that are, you know, told about it. And this forest is creepy in itself that surrounds this place. It's quite remote and hard to get to. Sorry guys, I don't actually know what this is. There's nothing on it that I can read other than 1987. <laughs> and I don't think that that's original to the statue. But it is a little bit creepy. Spooky cave. <laughs> My instincts tell me to go inside, but now I'm like, maybe there's an animal living in there. Jared camp time. Jared camp. <laughs> It's just a little cave with some plastic. Let me come in. Is that a hole in the wall over there? There's a bear at the top here. Oh, you know what? What? kind of nice in here. It's warm. <laughs> yeah, so guys, it's like, what, two or three degrees Celsius out there and it's sitting down with rain. And I should also mention, um, just behind the scenes fact at Amy's Crypt, we don't always plan the best and we get to these places and they're remote. Uh, the lady who we're staying with at the moment dropped us off here and we don't have a way back. And so it's about a two hour walk down windy roads in the hills, like, to get back. So maybe we just sleep in this cave. I'm not, let's get back. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Not a bear cave, but I don't know that it's wise going into things like that near a place where there's an underground portal to hell. It was warmer in there. Well, I'm guessing hell would be pretty warm. <laughs> it's like a 
is a gravestone. It's a gravestone. We're around the side of the castle now. Yeah, there's a, a big uh, stone cross here. There's no other stones around. Uh, one thing I, I should also note uh, is this castle has a lot of windows on the outside, but I read online that a lot of them are kind of fakes and that there's just wool behind them. Um, that's another mystery about the castle, why it just has fake windows. Alright, we've just found something else that's kind of odd, a little bit cool, a little bit creepy. The big uh, rock here with what is like a cave house. I don't know, it's like it's been, the cave has been bricked in and it has a door going into it. Do you think it's open? No. And just opposite is this cute little, I don't know, chapel. We've got another building down here. chapel and this is the place of greatest interest to me because this is where the hole that leads down to hell is said to um, exist underneath the floor here. So this chapel and this castle is rumoured to have been built on top of it to conceal all of the negative spirits and negative energy, even the demons that were coming out of it. So guys, I just want to give a bit more information on Horska Castle and its, you know, main story, which is below this chapel, the supposed gateway to hell. Uh, many years ago, um, sort of in medieval times, there was a massive pit that was seemingly bottomless and it was very frightening to villagers because there was always uh, sounds coming from it and it was said that demonic spirits would rise from that bottomless pit at night and just terrorise the locals. Years later, uh, Huska Castle was built and this castle is mysterious um, in itself it doesn't really have a purpose and it has no fortifications it's not on any trade routes so it doesn't really make sense why this castle is here other than to cover up this hole uh, so that's the rumor why many people believe that it exists to kind of trap those nasties below our feet there's other stories about this hole as well before it was covered there was supposedly a deal made with uh, prisoners who were sentenced to life that they could go free um, if they would participate in an experiment where they were lowered down into this hole. So the story goes that someone volunteered for this so they could go free, was lowered into the hole on a rope just to see what they would see down there. And after a while they went completely silent. Soon they started to scream in terrorised and agonized pain. Um, so they were pulled up and it said when they were pulled up that this prisoner had aged 30 years or more and their hair had turned completely white. They were completely in shock and it said that they had lost their mind and shortly after they died. So maybe it's all for the best that this place was sealed over and covered up. in the chapel and this is supposed to be built directly over a gateway to hell and it's quite beautiful it's a small room uh, but it has a very interesting history there's also uh, some relevance and significance supposedly to the frescoes on the wall so all of the paintings on the walls of the chapel um, some of them have some uh, meaning uh, there's one over here of a female centaur just behind me and she is left-handed, which back in the day was supposedly a symbol for evil. She has a uh, bow and arrow that she's stretching out. Um, and then there's a, a few others over here as well. Uh, so this painting over here uh, displays a dragon, which is a medieval symbol of evil. And 
I was reading all about these paintings online which are supposed to be quite old and there's a lot of interest around them because these sort of uh, pagan or signs of evil are not common at all to be displayed inside a church or a chapel. So since that portal is directly underneath our feet, there's a lot of EVPs that are claimed to uh, be captured in here. There's also a lot of claims of people hearing uh, what sounds like screams um, of pain and all sorts of reverberating up through the floor of this room. So maybe we should... You want to get down and press your ear to the floor, Jared? <laughs> And maybe we use a ghost tube and see if there's any weird sort of magnetic uh, fluctuations coming through this room. How's that feel? Kind of it's cold. Freezing? I don't know. Let me have a listen. I don't know if this is a smart idea. <laughs> Alright guys, I've just started recording a ghost tube session. I'm just going to walk around and see if we get any magnetic spikes. And there was just one here. Magnetic spikes. Magnetic spikes. Magnetic spikes. That was odd. Maybe try going closer to the floor. Check this out. If it does it again. Didn't do it again that time. Um, initially I did see it go up. I just got the word phone through. I don't have um, check. Yeah, I don't have the check. I heard either a yellow or a goat. Or something? Yeah. Like, there it is again. It's like a screech. I don't know that that's demonic. It sounds like a turkey or something. Okay, well, I'm going to stop recording here. So, I'm going to play that back um, later and watch those magnetic fluctuations and just double check that they actually happened. I don't know that they mean anything, it just means that there was a fluctuation um, in the magnetic field here that the phone picked up on. Um, but it's interesting. So guys, right now I'm in the courtyard of Huska Castle on this very gloomy uh, jury day, so it's kind of a good spot to tell some of its other ghost stories. So besides the portal to hell, uh, there's also a few spirits and creatures uh, said to roam around the castle. There is a human cross frog, cross bulldog creature that has seen roaming the grounds. There is an uh, apparition, a ghost of a headless person that's often seen in this very courtyard gushing with blood. Then there's also the disembodied voices and screams uh, that are so common here. A lot of shadow figures and poltergeist activity um, have also been reported. So other than the supposed 
gateway to hell. There's also a lot of ghost stories and spirit activity said to occur here. I might also just mention that uh, supposedly during World War II, this castle was occupied by Nazi Germany. And there's a lot of uh, rumors as to why they occupied the castle. It's not actually really well known, but people do say that they did uh, crazy uh, medical experiments on people here. And there's also other rumors that they specifically chose this castle so they could interact with the portal to hell. I don't know the truth behind those claims, but there isn't a lot of information as to why they actually did occupy this castle. Thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this tour around husko castle if you did please remember to like comment share and subscribe that way i can keep taking you to these creepy places if you're looking for a bit more reading on husko castle or other creepy haunted places head to amyscrypt.com and remember guys until next time stay spooky for those of you who are still watching thank you we're on our way back. It's like, supposedly the trail we took, which I don't know if that was a dumb idea. Thanks, Jared. Is 13 kilometers. That's pretty far. And we're walking through probably the creepiest scenery ever. I'm saturated, freezing cold. 
my jacket is like wet through already and probably haven't even walked 1k yet. <laughs>